Hi, it's Fiona Fernandez live. <laughs> Welcome if you're just joining me. Just gotta go find myself on my computer. Hope someone's crafting with me tonight. It's so much fun when there's more people. <laughs> I mean, I'll sit here and talk to myself anyway, so no worries. And if you're catching the replay, that would be good. I am trying to watch my live, but it's not working. <laughs> Just give it a moment. Okay, so I thought I'd have a look at some of the last chance things tonight. Just a couple, I've got a few different things on the table to play with. Right, let's see if this is working now. See who's watching me tonight. And we'll have to pick a shape for a window, won't we? No, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to get mine to play and it won't play. I can't play. Hi, Ross. <laughs> ah, die. Hi, die. Thought I'd show my face after all. <laughs> I've been working hard and cleaning, so I've been a very busy bee. So I've got my little bee on. Where am I there? <laughs> my team is called the Busy Bees, if anybody's wondering. And some of them are here with us. Hi, Jill. Hi, Athena. I'm trying to watch mine live on my computer and it won't let me. I'm like, what's going on? I think I better do a refresh. <laughs> so I've got my iPad here, so that's what I'm looking at right now. So how's everyone going? How's the rain out your way? <laughs> can't click the I can't click the go button. What's going on? I'll have to move it. Something weird's happening. Nothing unusual to get behind there though. <laughs> I just have to move my iPad a bit so I can see the screen. Oh, I don't know what's happened to it. Oh, the computer's doing really weird things. Okay, we're on the iPad. <laughs> Live. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to my computer. Something strange is going on. Oh, I'd have to move you all. I'd have to move you all. Ready? I'm going over here. See what happens now. Have to hold you for a minute. I just can't get the um, put the computer on. And I was looking for myself. <laughs> what have you got? Lots of rain. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain. Who else has said something? Let's check all my comments. Oh, you got your Sun Prince DSP. That's the new one. Oh, I haven't got mine yet. Where have I gone? Now I've lost myself. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Having a weird night tonight, everyone. Right, there we go. I think I've got it. Let's put it back over there on that screen so I can see us all. Okay, now I can put this back up. Sorry about that. Me and my technical dilemmas. It's all good. It's all good, we're here. I can't wait to get that sun prints. That looks like a lot of fun. I've got an order coming, so yeah, I've found myself now. <laughs> I can see me on the screen. <laughs> it just wouldn't click. It just was very strange. And then everything disappeared and we're back. We're back. I'm just going to take my paper to the table when I play. So if you're not sure what we're talking about if you're a demonstrator with Stampin' Up you get certain things that um, lurks and perks benefits whatever way you want to look at it goody yummy things <laughs> well we don't eat them but there's some really good things with being part of Stampin' Up part of it's having a great community that's one of the fun things I love so I'm actually doing that on tour which is on Saturday and so that's a li live event on Zoom or a platform like Zoom. Ah, you're waiting for yours too, Jill. And so people that are demonstrators, so if you join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator, you don't have to sell or you can be a hobby demonstrator or you can be a business demonstrator, whatever you want. So the joy of it is that you get to buy things a bit cheaper, so you get a discount. And depending on what your sales are, you can get um, up to 25% off. So that's good. And then you also get to do some of the 
live events that Stampin' Up! put on, which is great. And I've met people from overseas doing one of these, a couple of these events now. And yeah, it's really great because we get to connect with each other online and, you know, all over the world. It's fantastic. Send each other cards. I think I've shown you a few cards over the time of some of the ones I've got. And you haven't seen the ones I sent. Oh, maybe you have seen the ones I've sent because some of them have been the ones I made in my lives. So. so that's fun. I've got a few things on the table, so I probably will put the camera up and show you the table <laughs> when I get to that. But just so you know, the um, a few things I checked in the last chance sale. So the last chance sale are things that are retiring. And when you're in the shop, the Stampin' Up! shop, it will show you if they're cheaper, it'll have it in red and it'll say retiring. So that's cool. So this paper I'm going to use tonight, the Pansy Petals Designer Series paper, <coughs> is half price. In the, that's one of them. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this paper. And I haven't used it enough and I thought I'll get it out tonight and play with it. So there's lots of in there, so I'll show you that in a minute few other things. Um, I don't think they're on sale. I can't remember if those ones are on sale. What else did I have on sale? The hammered metal embossing folder, 3D embossing folder. That's $9.45. So that's to use in the full size stamp and emboss machine. Oh, you've ordered that too, Jo. Cool. Yes, I think a lot of people are. Uh, the macrame embossing folder is $9.45. So I'm going to use that tonight. What else have we got on the table? Um, no, that's, that's not on. Some things I'm using are not on special. Some things are just good ideas. <laughs> so I'll show you that good idea when I pull the table down, pull the thing down. Uh, one of the things I am going to use tonight is the, it's the dies out of the all dressed up dies it's called. Now the stamp set that goes with it has already sold out, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you can use other stamps with it. That's the stamp set, but that's sold out now. But of course this, the dies have a little bag and so that's the die for the bag and it comes with all of this as well. And you can make up these cute little bags and there's little tag things there. So bottle of perfume, but again you can use them with other sentiment stamps, but the dies are on sale. I can't remember where I wrote that now, I can't see it, <laughs> but it is on sale. It is $48.60 for the dies, and they're normally $61, so that's really good if you're interested in I like getting things like that and keeping them in my stash, so that if you want to make up a little bag, which we'll do in a minute, you can. What else have we got happening? Uh, my next online class, if you're interested in doing that, that's it. I've changed it to Sundays, and the next one is, where's the diary? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Let me check my diary. It's the usually the fourth. I was doing it on the fourth weekend, so it's, it'll be the twenty second. I think. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I might be thinking May. Hang on, April uh, twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. I think it is. Yeah, twenty fourth. of April is my next one. Oh, hi, Amanda. Okay. <laughs> looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to what I create. I have no idea. No, I have a little idea. That little bag. I'm going to make a little bag. I like making little bags. I hope I remember how to make a little bag. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all help me. Yep, so my next online class is using the Abstract Beauty. So this, I've shown you those before, but I'll show you them again. There's those. And there's the ephemera pack part of it. Um, what else have we got? Beautiful shape dies. That's a really handy set for lots of different things. Look, they're, they're just clear line shapes. Some of the shapes we have used over the time have stitches in them, which is nice. I like them too, but it's good to have a bit of both. And there's the cards and envelope pack as well. I'll be using all of that to create something for my online class. So that is done on Zoom. And I do that with my class online, which is fun, and I create the kit beforehand. So I design the cards and then I cut out all the bits you need and or whatever out of the packs there and send them to you. So I need to know uh, usually by the end of this week if you're doing it. So let me know, drop me a line, send me a message, email, go to the events on my Stampin' Up! page and just 
RSVP that. Okay, and if you want to purchase the stamps to go with it, it's a great idea. <laughs> if you don't, that's fine too. I'm everyone adapts to whatever on the day and it's just very exciting because we get to see all these wonderful things. So that's about it for that. Um card and cuppa, I'm not doing one this month because it's Easter and you know, it's just a bit full on. I've got family coming this week, so I've been cleaning like a mad woman. <laughs> so it's all very clean. <laughs> that's good alrighty I'm gonna put this over the table so hang in there have a chat to each other for a second on and off what's on and off my vendor oh bag yeah I like bags my computer's on and off at the moment I don't know what's going on with that I'll just flip you around hang on a second I've got to flip it back and flip it down and around just hang in there my computer keeps on doing strange things <laughs> the screen's gone off again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't worry about that. I'll turn it around in a second. As soon as I get this in my little stand. It's so tricky with all these cords. Okay, flip, flip, flip. Where's my flip button? There it is. Get the cord out the way. Right here. Yeah, what was on and off? And is it me that's on and off? Wouldn't be surprised given the way my computer's carrying on over there. Won't be able to see any comments at this rate. I'll just have fun. Just don't know why it keeps going off. Let me just check. I'll just check everything. Hang on. Just get up and check my power. Power's on, everything's on. Yep, it's all on. I don't know why it keeps on shutting down. <laughs> it's very annoying. Never mind. Let's try that again. Oh, I'm still there. Okay, that's really weird. My screen just keeps on going to sleep. I haven't changed anything. Anyway, maybe it was something to do with the iPad. So these are the embossing folders I was talking about a minute ago. The other thing I got out tonight to talk about was the... I was just looking at Mother's Day and Easter and stuff like that. This Daffodil Daydream. Now, I used that. Did I use that? I've used some of the dies for something else. But the, the dies are quite good. So this is actually a bundle at the moment, the Daffodil Day. It was actually in the 20% off sale recently, so I got it then. But it's still a bundle until the end of the catalogue so when the new catalogue comes out it won't be a bundle anymore so if you're wanting to get this sort of thing it's a good idea to buy it while it is a bundle because it's 10% off so that's that one there's another one I bought recently um, the colour and contour bundle this one I bought because we've been given lists already and we've got our new catalogue so we know what's coming out in the next catalogue and the Stitch So Sweetly dies are not so that's a bit sad so I really like them because they've got stitched dies and I love that rectangles and things so these ones are very sort of similar but you know a little bit different but they've got the scallopy edges and I like that and they've got this big scallopy one as well so I decided to get that and that goes with this one and that's a bundle now it's a bundle now it won't be a bundle in the new catalog so if you're interested in that as a bundle so I just liked that I like the type and everything so that's why I bought that one but that way I can go on with that one moving forward not sure if I use it tonight we'll see <laughs> I'll let you know just pop it over here uh, the Daffodil Daydream has Happy Mother's Day in it and Easter Blessings so I thought that was really good because you've got both with coming up now we've got Easter coming and Mother's Day is coming as well this other one that I've that matched this one had a Mother's Day sentiment in it. Happy Mother's Day. So I was looking for another one. Oh look, it's very similar. So I'll use this one tonight. Or that one or both. We'll see what happens, shall we? I'm going to play with that. So I'm going to leave that on the table. Just close that off. 
and I thought I'd just have a look at some different DSPs. So I got the Pansy DSP out, designer series paper. And I got this one out too. This is the Sweet Talk designer series paper. This is still available and it's still $20. So it hasn't been reduced. But it's cute. And I thought that might make a nice Easter bag. And I like that one. Or you can even use the purple, you know. So you don't have to use these for hearts. They all flip over and do different things. Ooh, that one's a good little bag one too. I like that one. Which one will we use? Let's make a bag. And will we use this one or this one? This one? Or actually, maybe I should go for a different print. Mm, I think I like that one. <laughs> this one's got lollies on it. Look. So this has a whole other set. So if you're wanting to know where that is, you can just look them up on the website when you're shopping. If you want to, it's called Sweet Talk Designer Series Paper. But it's in the mini catalogue, which is still current till June. End of June. Um, the current dates are on the back of the catalogue. So it goes to the 30th of June, this catalogue. And this is Sweet Talk here on page 8 to 10. I have used it before in one of my lives. And there it is. So if you like this one, you can, and this one has a cute little envelope with it, you know, that you can make which is gorgeous so that's the DSP there and if you want to buy the stamps and dies you get you can get them as a bundle so that's always good too you get 10% off when you buy them as a bundle if they're offered that way so that one I've got my new catalog but I can't show you inside it yet but I have put my labels on look I used the labels from last year <laughs> so as a demonstrator I could buy some labels I'm not sure I don't know if they're available for everybody or not they're just supply items does anyone know anyone watching let me find my thing I'll just see if I can find my shop what are they called they're called mm, <laughs> labels I think they're called labels I think they're only supply items so if you're a demonstrator you get extra things you can buy that customers can't buy so these are one of them yeah i'm pretty sure they're one of them so they were cute and some of them i just reworded i just wrote over the top of them so there you go right let's make a little bag then so did you want to vote which paper would you like let's get all these other things out of the way we'll go this one on this side big hearts or So we call this one on the right and this one's on the left, okay? Left, right, left, right. <laughs> let's see what everybody says. What's on the back of that one? Hang on, let's see what's on the back of that. It's got purple on the back. That one's got hearts on the back. So with these dies, let's get that. They fit onto a six by six, so I need two of whichever one I decide. Better make sure I've got two, huh? No. I've got two of that one. Just make sure I've got two of the other ones. <laughs> now that I've suggested it. No, I haven't got two of the other one. I've only got a piece like that. Oh no. That's a game changer, isn't it? You like the big hearts? Oh no. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> My other piece is cut up. Hang on. I'll see if I've got any more. I've got a feeling I don't have any more. I've got... I've got two of these ones. I think I chopped them up already. Sorry about that. Where's that one? I just saw that one. Yeah, I've got two of those. Plan B. <laughs> yep. Yep, plan B. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll, we'll just move that one out. I did like that one, but I've already cut it up. So, never mind. That's life in the card making game, isn't it? Okay, let's try that again. 
Left or right? So it has. I'll get another bag out. Just grab them. Oh, I've got to think where my other. I had another bag. I can't think where it is. Hmm. Think about that. So if you're looking for this in your annual catalogue, your current annual catalogue, these are going, these dies, so if you want them, grab them. Just looking to see if one's made yet. So on page 30, they've got a little bag here to show you what it looks like made up. <laughs> Roz said the left one. <laughs> Jill said the right one. I need one more person. <laughs> So that's what the little bag looks like. And we might have to make one out of each. Alright. Maybe. So we need our die. I'll set my stamp and emboss machine. You can mix and match them anyway. They're all different colours. Let's put that on there. My plates. Oh, we'll just have to cut both of them, I think. It's on the back of that. I'll go with this one first. <laughs> that didn't work out, did it? So I need to cut two bags. And I'll cut the... I'll cut the long handles. I think I'll do the handles in a different... What have we got for that one? Um, what have they done there? They've cut the bottom differently. Oh, that's interesting. These ones here are for the handles. So I can cut that, and, but I'll do it once I've turned it over and use the other side for the handle. You could cut them all at the same time, but I like the, the stitched effect in it. And you won't get that right if you... Don't do it that way. Just run that through there. Alright, see how that, look at that. Isn't that cute? So cute, we'll fold all that in a minute. So I'll just put, turn that one over. Now, I might put that. I might just chop that off, chop it off, tear it off. <laughs> I'll just tear that off and put it on an angle so that when we put it back through, you see that? You should be able to get two out of this piece. Line it up. goes through really nicely because I've got it on that angle. If you put it through straight it doesn't come through quite as well. So this way you get that stitched effect on the front, see? That way we'll have little different coloured handles. And if we're careful with it, we should be able to get a little other bit out as well. They've put a little uh, strap over their bag in that catalogue. So I think they've just used this again and made a shorter piece. 
So the other thing I was thinking, this would be great for a Mother's Day gift, like for little chocolates or a necklace or, you know, some something. <laughs> a little present in it. Or you could use it as an Easter basket. To go find some Easter eggs, why not? I don't think to get them out of the fridge. There's another long bit. So we might just do one more so that I think I can get one more out of that. I can at least get the bottom of it anyway and that way I've got another piece for the little taggy bit now if it's not sitting real well I'm just going to get one of my stickies because it's a little bit fiddly and I don't think that end's going to cut properly I'll just make sure this end does over it and pop it in there yeah so there's lots of things selling out in the last chance sale they're only there till they're gone so if you want something make sure you pop in there and grab them while they're still there and of course the new catalog mailer has I've put it in so if you're on my list for the catalogs to get them in the mail um, it has been ordered that's exciting so please let me know when you get them I'll check in with everybody so that piece this ends not anything but I'm going to use the other end of it right and we've got a few scraps left there so I'll just keep those handy where's my other piece just putting my dies back in the box <laughs> so we don't lose them Put those there. Right. Now we just cut the other one so that we have two sides. So I like this DSP because it's non-directional, so it doesn't matter where you put it, which is always good. I'll just position that there, and then we'll pull that out again. Make sure you got it on the paper. I'll just push it over as far as I can to one side. Just hold it down firmly and push it through. I find this easier well it depends what you're doing but I'm it's easy to do it while you're standing up some of them are easy to do while you're sitting down so I think that's all I need on there um the other bit we want is I might do it out of the, the same paper and we'll get the little it's like a little pocket on the front so we can fit that down here probably got to fit on that other one because I've cut it all out now yeah I'll just do it there. Uh, depends. Hang on a minute. So these are going to be like that. So this is directional then. It's like sewing, isn't it? And I'm going to keep them as the same direction. I'll just move that over. Oops. Oops. It moved. Push that down hard with my thumb. Sorry, <laughs> everything moves then. Oh! <laughs> I'm singing. <laughs> that moved. It's because I put it through st straight, see? If you had it on an angle, it wouldn't make that. It doesn't do that as quite as much. Alright, so then you get this nice little piece. And that'll go on the front of our bag. That's all in there. Um, no, there's a few other things we need. Hang on. Let's put that back in there. And I'll just get a bit of shiny something. Just trying to think what will match with this. Um, to do the little buckle. I've got a little buckle to put on there. I'll just see if I've got any shiny stuff out. shiny box 
And you know what you can use too in the ephemera packs that you get. Sometimes they have shiny ephemera packs. This one, I keep them in the box, see? And I keep all the little extra pieces. I'm not sure if I want to use gold, but you could even use, like these bits are so small. And there's little buttons as well. See, these are quite small. I don't know if they'll fit on that one, but the buttons would. I'm not sure if I'm going to use buttons. See the little buttons? See, they'll fit on there. So you could keep your little ephemera packs pieces. And it makes it go further that way. Yes, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I'm working on that. <laughs> I've been cleaning out a lot lately. <laughs> but things like this, I just think it's really handy to keep that extra little piece. I'll just see what else I've got in my little shiny box. To see if I've got any... I'm sort of thinking maybe silvery. For this one, not gold. Yeah, I'm thinking silver to go and find some. Go find a bit of silver somewhere. Because the other thing you could do is emboss it in silver if you don't have any silver stuff. Can't see any silver stuff right now. Let's see what else I've got here. I've got one more shiny box here. Let's see what else is in my other... So I've got bits left over from last week and the week before. Oh, you know what else there is? There's, oh, the silver in the in the ocean waves pack. Maybe we should get some of that out because that's cute. That's light blue, but that's not going to work. <laughs> there's, um, there's some silver. That might be enough. So there is some silver in the ocean waves as well. I've got these bits here so I'll just use that for now. So when I'm cutting this I would you can use your trimmer or you can just use your scissors but I'm not going to put the whole piece through because it could mark it a bit with that other piece so I'll just cut it in half and do one at a time. Sure you turn it over so the cutting side is down and put it on an angle so that it's not going through straight up. Oops, no, it moved. It moved. Alright, hold it down with your thumb. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> that made something move on my screen then. <laughs> I'm losing that screen. What's going on? And then just lift it up. So this will cut out too. Let me just find my tool. Click make pick tool. And you get little buckles like that. You can even, I mean, if you wanted to, you could even use those little pieces for something. There's something to do around here, isn't there? Look. There you go. Put that back. So the pack the, comes with two of these. So you can make a few bags at once if you want to. I'll just do this one now, though. And I'm not going to keep those little pieces tonight. Okay, I think that's all I had to cut out. <laughs> Hope so. Let's put that over there on the desk. Okay. Oh yeah. My little shiny pieces away. Put those ones back. So I'm just putting these onto the front of the bag. I'm not 100% sure where yet. The one in the catalogue's got it on that middle piece, actually, that comes through, which is interesting. Actually, I'm just wondering whether to put... Um, oh, let's have a think for a minute. I'm just thinking about the hearts. Where did I put the hearts? Do you know what you could put on there? You could put a heart-shaped button on the front. 
to match the heart. I'll have to come back to that because I don't have them out and I think they're over in my other cupboard. Right, we'll come back to this one. If we, well, we might come back to that. I might do that one afterwards. We'll see how we go for time. <laughs> you know how it goes. <laughs> yes, that's right. I get a bit carried away sometimes. But I have fun. It's good fun. Who's crafting with me? Anybody crafting? They so just follow, fold all these. I don't even need to really fold them with the bone folder because they've got such good folds on them already. And this piece here folds that way. So that you end up with a... Once you put that in... piece goes in there like that and then you do the same thing with the other one. So they're really quite simple. Just fiddle with it a bit and work it out. I hope. Okay. So I'll just play with it first to make sure I've got everything where I think it goes and then I'll stick it together so that bit goes under there I'm trying to remember which one I stuck on first last time I think I stuck the bottom bits on first those bits and then that one on that one and that one on that one and then and then <laughs> right so if that one was in that one no I think they go inside because you don't want to see them on the bottom yeah I think that's better I don't really think it matters which one you start with unless you can put them together so that one goes there and that one goes in there like that so I think it's all good just wondering whether it's better to join the sides first Oh, you're making some Mother's Day cards. Oh, you're making something with Oh, Wisteria Wishes stamps. That's a new one coming out. Just chilling. Good oh, that sounds like fun. Look forward to seeing all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I can't remember which way I did it last time, so we'll just do it. Let's just do it. I'm going to use tear and tape. it's quicker is that what I just had first <laughs> I'm going to put that one on first look I've stuck one on this one up. So we have two pieces like that. And then that one has to go in there. So I'll do that one. I'm going to put it onto now if you don't want to get glue all over it, especially on your fresh sheet <laughs> that we put down, you can put your tear and tape on. Start at this end. Make 
sure you don't go over the edges like I just did. Ah. Pull it off very carefully. I'm just lining it up with the line just on the other side of the fold there. And I will use my snips to cut that off. So then when you fold it, it's going to be like that. I did overlap a tiny bit, so I might cut that off. I don't want any glue in there. Although if, when you peel it off, you could fold it back on itself. So I might just do that. Okay. This one the same. one at a time you do make cute little bags though don't they okay so I just check that your tape is all it's over the edge a little tiny bit so I'm just going to bring that back on itself so I don't want tape in the middle of the bag you could trim it first if you want to, or you could even cut it in half. Get more for your money. Now, let's get this the right way around. <laughs> Make sure I do it right. I'm just thinking I should have put another piece of tape, something in there, shouldn't I? Am I doing this the wrong way? I think I should have put the bottom in last. Never mind. There's more than one way to do things, okay? That's working for me. Look, if you can get your bone folder out there, and just run it up there. Now, it might be easier to do the sides first and then glue the bottoms, but I think I'll just do it this way. And then I'll put that in there. And I'm going to put some think I need to put a bit on there so before I close that up and you could just use the glue um, Join the sides up and then the bottom. But I've already done the bottom now. And I will put that on this side here. I'm not going to pull that out yet. I'm going to do my little... Pull the paper up trick. This one might be alright, but I'll pull the other one out afterwards. Okay, so that one will go on there. That's fine. And then this one. I'll just pull it off there. Sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky, isn't it? No, it wasn't this tricky last time I did it. If you do the bottom first, sorry, the sides first, not the bottom. I shouldn't have stuck the bottom together first. Let's get that piece off. Right, let's try that again. Okay, so it's like when we do it on the front of the cards and we put that up a little bit. 
just until I've got this bit done. Yep, that's good. If you fold it back like that, you can actually position it in the right spot and then pull your paper out. And then pull your paper out. But if you do your sides first, you can actually just do all the bottom at the same time. Right, we got there. We got there, never mind. Isn't that cute? Okay, now with your handles, you can choose how you want to do it. You can either have them going over. So I'm going to turn it over like that. You can either have them going over like that, or you can cross them, or you can have them going like this. I think I'll do it this way. And put that through there, see? And if you want buckles on the other side, you can, but, or you can just have it inside the bag. And I'll just put it inside the bag and have that one on the front. And just match them up. Such a cute little bag. So how many Easter eggs do you think you can fit in here? <laughs> if you're going to use it for Easter eggs. I guess it depends on the size, doesn't it? That'll work. So I'm going to put my front ones on first. And... the same size. To get some Easter eggs, I think I've got some in the fridge still. <laughs> I don't eat them very fast. <laughs> I know. That was last year's link chocolate. I'm going to put a tiny bit of tear and tape on the back. Just to hold that. In place. And that way it's not going to keep moving around when I'm trying to put it together. Put out a bunch of embossing folders and some floral dies and just cutting them out and then playing the game of putting together cards. Oh, that sounds like a fun game. So relaxing. I've been looking forward to this all week. And I thank you all for joining me. It's lovely. Okay, so I'm going to put them onto the front. Now look, you could actually use that as your glue, I suppose, couldn't you? No, I think I'll just use... Uh, mm, yeah, actually... Actually, we could do that. Just use it as our glue. And I want to come down a little bit. Yeah, I think I want to come down a little bit. down a bit. <laughs> Not an equal. Give it a good push. Squeeze it. There we go. And then I'm just going to put those two in the back. No, that's not what I was going to do, was it? I was going to put one on either side. Now I've changed it all. <laughs> ah, 
I was going to do it that way. Hang on. I'm going to do it that way. Never mind. We're not doing it that way now. We're doing it this way. Okay. Got carried away, didn't I? We'll do it this way. Actually, maybe we should cross it over. Oh, that should be right. Do it that way. And I'll just use some more tear and tape while we're on tear and tape. Just put it up the top there. Just stick them in the back there. And then they just line up like that. Try and get them about the same length. So I go about there. I think that's the same. You could mark them if you really want to to get them exactly the same. Just looking at the picture on it as to the top of that red bit. Just eyeball it. That'll do. It's all good. Is it? No, this one's tiny bit higher. <laughs> well, so what we have to do is decorate it so it takes your eye away from that. And put our little pocket on. Put our little pocket there. Now, if you want to, you can do your sentiment so that it sticks out of the pocket. Let me find a sentiment piece in a second. Find the sentiments. So if you had a little piece, you could stick it, stick it out of the pocket. Okay, where's my daffodils? Here they are. I'll just grab these out. Blessings. Will we make? I think we'll do a Happy Mother's Day. What do you think? Oh, maybe we should take a vote on that. Can we vote that? <laughs> should we do Mother's Day or Blessings for Easter? And I'll put some stamp labels on while we're deciding. We've got Blessings for Easter. So just remember to put a bit of fluff off your apron onto your stamp sticker. Oops, I missed the bin. <laughs> All right, that's my Easter blessings. Easter blessings. Let's see how they fit first. Let's have a look. So I might put it on the front or I might stick it out the top of the little pocket. I'm not sure yet whichever one we decide. We got Mother's Day. Actually, we'll put it on that side. Blessings for Easter as it's coming up. Yep, that's the first one coming, isn't it? And then Mother's Day is after that. So we could always do another one on Mother's Day. Not tonight, though. <laughs> We'll make a pansy card in a minute. That's the Mother's Day one. So they both look nice, don't they? Let's put that in 
here for a minute so I don't lose it. Stick it back in the box for a second. Oh, I stopped sticking in my fingers. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now there was another stamp set I was looking at when I was thinking about all this tonight. The Celebrating You. It's a really nice stamp set with lots of words on it. And it's actually got Happy Easter, Happy Mother's Day and Happy Father's Day on it. So it's a really good sentiment one. Now I think this isn't going to work now because I did it different. I was going to put that across there but I don't think it'll work with these like this. Not sure. Not liking that as much now. Maybe I could do a little one. I think it would look nicer that colour. I think I'll do that. And I might find a little heart after. Just stick on it. And put. little piece of tape in there again okay that's how big it is so what do you reckon how many easter eggs are you going to get in there did I have out for these are too small these little ones are um, shaker shapes they're good for little shakers but there's a little hard in there but I think it's too little so I want something fairly plain on that don't I like a little heart little tiny heart there's a heart on it look sideways <laughs> Hmm. I'll have a look for something in a minute. Okay, so we'll put our little pocket on and we'll leave it open so that we can put our little sentiment in it like that, like sticking out the top a bit. So I'll make it down the bottom. Okie dokie. Now, what will I use? I think I might use a bit of tear and tape, but I'll cut it. And put a piece. Should be right on the piece on the bottom. So that we get a good solid stick on there. And then the side pieces, I'll trim them. So they're not so wide. Diana say lots of really little ones <laughs> that was Athena yes I've got a few little ones I reckon about 15 lint easter eggs oh dear okay I've got some lint in the fridge I'll run out and grab it and now we can see how many okay Just push that down on my finger And then we'll put our, if that's big enough, that piece. Depends on how big we want it, doesn't it? Right, what do we need? We need a stamp block. The busy bees. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's go. What colour? Oh, a big yawn, everybody. <laughs> 
12. <laughs> I don't think I've got that many in the fridge, but we might. I'm going to go and grab some in a second. Do a quick dash to the fridge. I saw them before. Okay, what colour are we going to do for sentiment? Uh, do we want... I think red might be too much red, mightn't it? Hmm. Maybe. We could try real red and see what it looks like. Let's, let's have a look. Colours in that. Now let me find my little packet. Yeah, it was real red. Good spotting. Just try some real red. Just grab a bit of paper. Just give it out a test run because I haven't used it before and I forgot to wash it first. <laughs> trim around this I think and my shammy here's my trusty old shammy they're so good these things aren't they look at that that's clean <laughs> it's getting a bit dry that one need to wet it again trim around it. I love trimming around things like that. I saw a die set like that where it's shaped like the stamps. East of Blessings. I feel like it needs to be on something else. Needs something else behind it. Right, what are we thinking? What is everybody thinking? I am thinking, where's my glittery box gone? <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, where's some more of that silver? a different shape, don't I? Might not be long enough. What shapes have we got? Ooh, let's have a think about that for a minute. <laughs> Alrighty. While we're thinking, I'm going to run to the fridge. Don't go away. Hang in there for a second. Sing a song or something. for 
my little heart. So this, this is the set that the paper matches. How many have I got? Two, four, six, eight. Oh, look. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, five. I've got fifteen. Quick, we better see how many fit. See who's right. I think they'll all fit. We can go more. I haven't got any more. That's it. Look at that. It's a nice fit actually with my little tag on the front here. Look at that. Perfect. Alright, I'm sticking up in the bowl. <laughs> that was a good test. You might need this a little tiny bit longer. <laughs> Right, now I've just got this out because there's a whole lot of hearts in here. And there's even a little, um, you know, thing you could use as a sentiment thing like that if you wanted to. Over the top of your little pocket. I'm trying to go in the little pocket though. So I'm wondering whether to go a heart. Oh look, that'll fit perfectly. You've got all these different size hearts too. Yeah, we'll just run that through the mill. Of course we can. Move my little thing out the way. See what that looks like in there. Now remember what I said about this one. Put the mini bit over the top. Over that end there. So that it sticks out a little bit when you're putting it in. It just grabs it better. Do we need any more hearts? I don't think we do. Let's put that down there. Right, there's a little heart. There's a little heart die. You could even keep that and use it for something. Oh look, there's even a little tiny one. Look at this. Look how little that is. <laughs> That's so cute. Not sure exactly what I'll use it on. Oh, where was that one? I can't work out where they were now. Never mind. I think that was in there. It's a good idea to take a photo of them or run them through a copy machine. Easter blessings. What about that? the heart that's better we might need a little bit of ribbon or something what have we got what have we got um hmm. I think what I've got we have got lots of different things I don't want something to I'm really looking forward to some of the new ribbon that's coming up I always love this ribbon. Love that ribbon. They're coming out with one very similar. So I'm very happy about that. Very excited. OK, 
Okay, so we have a real red ribbon. That's nice, isn't it? Let's go with that. Let's do that. I don't know what we'll do with it yet, but let's do it. <laughs> That's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't that pretty? I don't know, I'm thinking maybe even just put that up there. That in the pocket. I want it in the pocket. Sort of in the pocket. Just above the pocket. Maybe we could put that on the red. Just have a little bit of red. There. Oh, moved it. <laughs> Let's just chop a bit off. This ribbon is really nice. It's nice to work with. See how easy that cut? I like that. Just trying to get that there. I don't want to see the heart. It's not quite right. <laughs> it's not quite right. <laughs> Maybe we should put the heart in the pocket and put that across the front. That might be better. And now I'm thinking, I need another heart. <laughs> we could have a little red heart, couldn't we? You know what? Let me look at this paper for a minute. Because I'm actually wondering whether we can cut one of the red hearts out with a smaller one and cut out a red heart. It's a shame it's in the middle of the paper, <laughs> isn't it? Not about. And of course, you could get. Um, some of the card stock and do it. We could use a pink piece. Just seeing what's on the back of the others. There's a red one like that. No, it's too red. Okay. I think I'll just go with one of these. I'll go with one of these out of the corner here. There, that one. Let's see what that looks like when I cut it out. Might have too much white on it, but we'll have a look. Let's have a look. Put that down so it doesn't move too much. They are cute, aren't they? It's just fun playing with it all. Right, let's see how this turns out. Oops. <laughs> There you go, that's all right. Not bad at all. Okay, go like that. And then we, where did my thing go? <laughs> I'm losing it. 
Easter blessings. I'll go straight or sideways. Mm. I love that ribbon. I want to see the ribbon. I think I have to see the ribbon. I'm just seeing what it looks like straight or crooked. You look on the screen. You wouldn't even have to stick those in if you didn't want to, because then someone could play with them. I might just leave them loose. My little heart. What do you think? Straight or crooked? That's well, straight. And I'll see what it looks like straight. Looks like that's straight. And then if we go crooked, we could put the ribbon crooked and put the words straight. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. It's all blurring in together. <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm losing it. I think I need to see more ribbon. Hi, Steph. Welcome. I think I'm thinking go straight like that. I hope you all agree. If you don't, that's okay. We don't all have to agree. We're all different. We all make unique things. That's what I love about it. Always cool. Okay, I'm going to do that. Where's my... I'm into the tear and tape tonight. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put that on the back of my ribbon. Just depends what I'm doing, you know. Sometimes I like to use the Tombow for lots of things. But for this sort of thing, the Tombow would take longer. I mean, it doesn't take long to dry, but it takes a little bit longer. Where did I have it? Right there. Have I got that in the right spot? Here we go. I might put that on dimensionals just to give it that little extra. Little bit extra. Up off the top, you know? Pop. Bit of pop. So many, how many dimensionals can I fit on the back of this? <laughs> I can give this to my granddaughter. Love it. Make sure you know what. I'll keep that on there because that is a really handy tool for positioning things. See, I want a bit of the red ribbon. I don't want to cover it all up. Now we've got this little thing. Now I've got the hearts out. So we could actually do another little heart, couldn't we? Where's that odd piece I had on the table? Will it fit? <gasps> a heart will fit on there, look. Probably already got one somewhere, but you know, when you go to use them. how the time flies and here I was going to do another card I don't know it's getting a bit late now isn't it anyone want to stick around while I do another one not another bag 
I do a card with my pansies because that's half price that day, that paper. I'm just going to do a simple card oh. <laughs> with a bit of, um, you know, use one of those embossing folders I showed you before. Okay, I'll just put that away. The sparkle into the sparkle box. Heart back into the heart thing. This one's got a little envelope as well, which is really cute. I'll use that another time. That one's still available right now. As far as I know, let me just double check so I'm not telling you stories. <laughs> let me find my search results. Hang on a minute. What's it called? Sweet. Oh, sweet. If you do searches in the website, the shop website. Oh, you'll stay with me, Steph. Thank you. Um, sweet Conversation Bundle is the two together. That's 73.75 and I'll just double check. I don't think they're on special, but I'll have a look because sometimes they do them individually. So it's cheaper to buy some things individually, but this one's not. No, they're not. They're not marked down at all because they're still in the current catalog, the mini catalog. They're not marked down. OK, so all of that is still available. Sweet Talk Collection. $150.25 with the paper and everything. So that's good to know. Alright, so there we go. We've got another heart out of that. Oh, I did put a little dot on there, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, I forgot to put that one away. <gasps> oh no. I forget to put a die away. So you could put your chocolates in first, but although you know you can still get them in around this little thing. And then I'm just going to stick my little heart with a glue dot. Just push that on hard and pull it off. Put that on the front. That's a bit crooked, but I don't mind. I don't mind it like that because all the hearts on the box are crooked. And that one's crooked, so that's all good. And then to seal it up, you could just put another glue dot on the back of it. So it depends whether you want to get it open again. If you do want to, if you don't want it to stick really hard, you could put the glue dot on. What I would do is fluff it up a little bit. So you know how we put the fluff on the back of the stamp sticker so that it doesn't stick to the block too hard? You could do the same thing with this so that it just sticks enough. I'll touch it a few times. And it won't stick as hard and rip the bag when they open it. <laughs> Can't get it on there. I'm not going to put it down too far because once you stick your Easter eggs in it, or whatever you're going to stick in there, whether it's a Mother's Day card or a... I stuck it on crooked now. <laughs> what was I saying? It's coming up. Very carefully. Yeah, so if you want to be able to open it again, the other thing to do to get in the position is to put the sides out first. You can make these little bags so the sides go out too. Look, like this. So you get a totally different look. It's like a little tote bag. I love them. I think they're really cute. Okay, let me try that again. That's better. <laughs> That's better. Okay. So I'm going to have mine going in. Isn't that gorgeous? Here, we'll throw some eggs around it. There you go. <laughs> Snatch. <laughs> oh, you'll be here too. Yay! Okay, let me put this away so that I don't get too out of control here with all my dolls and things. There's another piece of this. 
Yes, I found it. Look, it's got a shoe on it. I'll just put that back. So I had actually put these in with the stamps. That's how I was storing some of them. And I put the packet from the dies into the back of the front. So this is the dies packet and that's the stamps packet. But these stamps are already sold out, so you can't get those anymore unless you buy them later. Okay, so that's that one. My little Easter eggs. They're cute. So you wouldn't have to undo it to put your Easter eggs in. You can just go like that. I don't want to leave them in there because they're sweating a little bit. But they do make a nice little bag, look. And then you can just pop your sides back in. All right, I'll take a photo later with the Easter eggs, but not right now. Okay, so we'll just put our little Easter egg bag away. It's so gorgeous, I love it. All right, clear the decks a little bit. Now, the pansy paper. I love the pansy paper. I thought I'd use one of those. Where did I put all those things I had out before? They're here somewhere. Let's just move some paper out of the way. A little heart papers off here. That might help. So when the new catalogue comes out, I'll be working on doing a paper share as well so if anyone's interested in that let me know down the track I'll, I'll certainly put something on my page uh, what's Diana ah oh, Stephanie what did ah oh, sorry what did you say so what did, is in the bag oh oh what die is the bag in sorry I just thought you said okay the die is called put it. it's in the annual catalogue so there's the little bag in the annual current annual catalogue on page 30. Okay, so you'll find it in the back. The actual die is on page 165. So they always tell you where the dies are. So the little bag is 165. Why can't I see it? Am I going mad? <laughs> I'm going mad. Don't worry about me. I'm going mad. It's all. It starts with all. Here it is. 162. I read that wrong. All dressed up. It's called. Now it has the extra pieces because some of them coordinate with the stamps, but the stamps are no longer available. But the bag is. So it's going. It's retiring. So it's $48.60 at the moment instead of $61. I just think I like having dies like that because they're really handy when you want to do a little gift. And I've got a couple of other little boxes and things that I've gathered over the last few years as well. I really like getting those. And of course, don't forget, there's a, there's another one that's a die at the moment. I don't know if it's in here. I think it was in the other mini from Christmas. But it's coming back, so that's really good too. That's, um, I don't know if I got it out. No, I think I didn't get it out. It's a little box, a little gift box thing. Yeah, so that's the one I just did. That one, and it looks like that. Let's pop that to the side. So I thought I'd do something quickly. Quickly, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, be quick. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh, certainly try. I got the hard parts deciding sometimes what we're gonna do. Hey, it's like, oh, what will I do? What will I use? And you just gotta go with what you feel like at the time. So you know, I don't know about that one. Uh, so when I did my catalog launch last year, I used this one, and I did something with. Oh, must have been. Oh, I can't see it then. Maybe I used. Oh no, there it is. Here it all is. See all these bits cut out. I use this one to make some cute little. See you can cut them out with the dies. I haven't got the dies out there. I'm not pansying tonight. I'm using it as a just a bit of paper on the page, you know. 
simple we're keeping simple oh look there's a piece of card already in there soft succulent see that goes with that oh, I'm just thinking about which colors to use I quite like this one the back of that oh that's that one okay it's mm. gorgeous isn't it that's pale papaya see on the back of this one's that colour oh that gorgeous look we've all almost got a card done <laughs> see how quick was that look I've got other bits in here too Sirens. Something must be going on. Um, I think I'll put that one back in there. Oh, there's that on the paper. Look. That's so pretty, isn't it? That board. Just and see it's got the yellow on the back. Bumblebee. Think on the back. You didn't get any of the pans in. Oh, well, it's half price now, the VSP. Let me check. I've got my website open. I'll just check all the pansy stuff for everyone. Pansy. We've got the bundle <laughs> is $90. Only the designer series paper is $10. The half price. Everything else is still normal price. So that's um hmm. I'm really liking that. But I only want to use a little bit of it, so I'll just see if I've got a little piece in here. So I had some already chopped up. Like this piece here. I think I'll just use that. And I just want to make a quick card with like scrappy sort of, you know, bits and pieces. See what we can pull out of my bag. Maybe we could stick a pansy on because there's one there already. Look. I can hear the smoke alarm going off. <laughs> in the building. I think the fire engine was for us. <laughs> but it's okay. If I suddenly run away, I'll tell you. I'll wait until it tells us. being a bit noisy so I'll, just war I'll just warn you still going okie dokie I think if we use that we could put that on there couldn't we get a couple of pieces of this out in case we want some of that oh where did my other bit go here it is here it is Oh, it's getting louder. <laughs> it's all right. It's only if it says evacuate, then I go. <laughs> oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> it's okay. No worry. Don't panic. I don't panic anymore, okay? Oh, look at Diana's face. <laughs> uh, yeah, it happens. People cook toast, you know? I mean, yes, of course. If you hear them say evacuate really loudly, I'll be going, all right? <laughs> But they've turned it off now. It's all good. Don't, that's why I don't panic straight away. When I first moved in, I was a little bit more quick out the door. But now I wait. Because it depends what level it's on. And how quickly it escalates and all that, you know. Alright, let's cut this piece. Um really sure what I'm doing I'm just making it up as I go along so if you want to join me you're well and I'm going to emboss something because I, I love embossing things <laughs> it's gonna be one of my favorite things and I've got some what have I got basic white cardstock 
And I've got some, oh, what color? Oh, you know what? I'm feeling like using this. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Let me do one that color. Oh, that's yummy. Now, what size? You've got to watch me because sometimes I've cut this down to the right size. Yep, that looks good. And sometimes it's a bit bigger because I've cut something off it. That's to 149, so that'll be okay. So we're not doing fun folds or anything tonight. We're just playing with a plain old score down the middle. So we score it like that. Ten and a half. So I've put a little mark on my score here. So that you can see. I, I just put it there so I always score to like when I'm looking for the ten and a half. I'll just put a little white mark on there. So you have the little divot goes down in the valley. So you fold your card that one. And you just grab your bone folder and give it a bit of a smooth over. Maybe we'll go this way because the flowers are all going that way. What do you think? Yeah, that looks nice. I really, got, I really want to emboss something. What will we emboss? Maybe we need another colour. Mm. Or maybe we could emboss another piece of the that colour. That's soft sea foam if you're wondering what colour that is. Let's do that. And have like a double background. What do you think? How wide is this? So that's 13.2. Doesn't really matter. I'll just emboss this first and then we'll cut it down. So I'll need the bigger one. Just whack that on the table again. decide where's my embossing folders. Here they are. So we have, I've got out the hammered metal. These are both going, so these are both on special at the moment for 945. Or the macrame. What do you think? Which one will we go with? That might be too much with the macrame, although it's just a background, isn't it? I'm liking the hammered metal. Which one do you like? Hammered metal or macrame? I will just get, they're both 3D so we need to get this off and go 3D, we need that one. So I just keep all my plates like this in a little um, bag and then they're just handy there on my desk. Metal. Metal? Metal's got it. <laughs> got it. Let's go. Let's go with the metal. Oh, but no, I embossed the wrong bit of card. There's a bit of card. <laughs> Where did I put it? Here it is. Oh, throwing cards every minute. So you put this, the folded end in first, the hinged end, and then put this one on top. That's right, isn't it? Four. One's four. Yep. And just wind it through. It's not too tight. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is a beautiful embossing foam. Okay, ready? Are you ready? I love doing embossing. <laughs> yeah, love it. Get that. Oh, looks like Easter egg chocolate. Hey, we're right on the. Did you? Is that why you chose metal die? Didn't think of that, did I? Didn't think of that until I saw it like this and went, ah, oh, looks like Easter egg chocolate. 
Maybe you could make an Easter egg out of it. That's a good idea. Another day. <laughs> Another day we'll have to make an Easter egg. Alright, see that actually looks really yummy on there. Look. Down in the middle. Put a flower on there. Oh, I don't know about that flower actually. I'm not sure about that. I'm just wondering whether to cut it down to the same size as my DSP. Or make it bigger. Or or <laughs> keep changing what I'm doing. Yeah, Easter egg, do it. <laughs> espresso. Oh, you want some espresso in Easter egg? Hang on a second. Hang on a minute. You have to wait for a second. I've got to go get the espresso. Easter egg shaped eyes. We don't have any. Just have to cut a piece down. Plates everywhere. Plates everywhere. And we'll just cut this on down. Card size. Do this one to ten and a half. Okay. I'll find it now. Hang on. I just buried it. I don't have the oval. Now I'd normally die cut first if I was going to die cut something out. I think the balloon punch is old if they've got it now. I don't think you can get it anymore. There you go. There you go, you ready? Reveal. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Chocolate! <laughs> Look at that. Yum oh. Yum oh. Perfect. So make sure you grab one of those before they all go. If you want one, because that's more di diverse than I was realising <laughs> when I got it out tonight. I wasn't even thinking of that. Um, ooh, let me have a look. Hang on a second. I'm just going to my catalog for a second. Mm, what shapes have we got? Let's see what I've already got. I, don't have it. I think there's no ovals in there, is there? Ah. I'm just looking to see if there's any ovals. Let's go to the punch page. Punches. Punches, please. Oh. Yeah, oh, there aren't any. Never mind. Oh well. We could always cut one out, I suppose. We have to. It looks like a block of chocolate, doesn't it? And we could put it behind my flowers. We could have two rows of embossing, couldn't we?
I like that one too. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, let's see what happens. <laughs> Sentiment, please. What will you use? Where's my... have to make this an Easter card, won't we? Given that it's um, looking like chocolate, I think. I think we'll just have to do another Easter one. Still got that out. So. I don't know about using the chocolate in here now. The green's nice too. Look, evening of a green. I'm going to go that way and use a bit of that. I'll use that. I actually really like that in there. Maybe not that big. Hmm. Let's just get a sentiment happening. What about a sentiment on that? No, maybe white. I like that. Maybe we'll use some evening evergreen. I'm liking that. I do like the chocolate. <laughs> So cool, isn't it? Oh, that went very dark. Ah! Is the paper gone? Look how much ink I stuck on there. Oops. Oops, it's easy. I'll just get an old piece of thing out so that we don't go through. It looks okay, but I put way too much ink on that. Let's try that again. Tap, 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 tap. That's better. Might cut this one out with something. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That stamped really nice. Let's clean that on your shimmy. Sorry, drop my evening evergreen. Make sure you close those properly when you're using them. Now we need to cut this out. What kind of shape will we go? Let's have a look. What punches are? I've got to look up what punches are current. I've still got all my punches on the shelf. It's good to use current punches. goes nicely. Oh, there's quite a few things that go nicely. Oh, okay. What about... I don't think I'll use this one very much. This one, I haven't got the name on it. It's called The Label Me Fancy. Will that fit in there? Let's have a look. Now this one is really cool because it's got the little um, sideline on there. I'll just see what it's doing here. I like to check. Label me fancy. It's thirty-one dollars, and you can do a die cut with it, the punched, and then stick a little tag bit on the end, so put a bit of ribbon out or something, or the little hole, you can put a little hole in it to put some twine through. It's cool. Not sure we're going to do that tonight, but we might. You never know. Just lining that up. So I sort of hold it halfway down to get it in position. Is that right? No, that's not quite right. I'll go up a little bit more. And then I push with two hands down. So there's the little hole and the little piece. So what they're showing in the picture on the website is that you can put a piece back in. So if you wanted to put a hole in it, or either bit, you'd put it sort of to there, 
you wouldn't go all the way let me you wouldn't go all the way in because you want to cut that off so you can see in here if you wanted to put the hole in I'm not going to put a hole in but you wouldn't come out through past there and same with the little taggy bit you can put a little hole in you could even mark it where you want to put it put it in the top and stamp it so you've got a few options there of what you can do with that one it's very cool right oh what have we got here i quite like that maybe we don't need ribbon oh yeah let's have some ribbon i'm liking that actually all right let's trim that piece down let's find our trimmer now just remember the trimmer comes with inches on this ruler but you can buy the centimeter ruler separately and put it on yourself which I did recently. I used it with the inches for ages and then I just decided I'd get the centimetres and I love it. So that's at the moment it's $7 and it is going up a little bit in the new catalogue. So if you want to grab one of those, get one early. I'm going to do this to, what are we at the moment? We're ten and a half, so I'm going to go nine and a half. went twice and I still didn't get it right. <laughs> Just take that off. And you can keep that piece and do another strip like these are strips if you want to. Or something. Here's my little file. And so that was a centimetre shorter so we'll go to this one to 1385. better that time it's just that little bit thicker when you're cutting it just leave that there I'll just play with this before we stick anything down because I'm very good at sticking things down and then going oh I wish I'd put that there <laughs> I'm thinking of going this way So I'll trim those to the same width as the top one, not at the same time, that was nine and a half. Look at all these extra bits we'll have to play with. Turn that over. Now it's sitting up a little bit there. And if you can see that little ridge there, if you just use your bone folder on it, it pushes it back down. If you see the other sides are a bit ridged too. So just run your folder on it like that. It's just when you're cutting it, sometimes it does that. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that big yet. I'll just see. I might cut it down a little bit more. So we end up with a bit of a lesser. Might go to there, I think. Oh, not totally sure. <laughs> not totally sure yet. Let's have a look what that looks like. What about we go? Oh, maybe we'll just leave it like that. Maybe that will be all right. Okay, we'll cut that one down. Right, if I put that one up about there, and then this one across here, I love that. I love this one. I'm almost tempted. Oh, I've already put an order in yesterday. <laughs> I just put an extra order in because I forgot to order extra catalogues. But I have ordered extra catalogues, so if you haven't gone onto my catalogue mail system, I'll have extra catalogues soon. So I can certainly give you one still ask um you got the metric one too die oh, good on you okay and i feel like we need something else to go with that oh can you sirens again i hope it's not our building again <laughs> no you've got to get a card finished i'm thinking get a ribbon 
bit of ribbon and we've got gee I love that colour card isn't that gorgeous um, I've got some evening evergreen or you know what I have got which I haven't used for a while this one this is so pretty look how pretty that is I love this ribbon this was out when I first joined Stampin' Up and it's old olive and pretty peacock pretty peacock was an in color back in not 2019 it's a reversible ribbon but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be around much longer reversible I'll just type that in reversible ribbon yep retiring seven dollars eighty right now for this ribbon I love it so gorgeous I think I better use it <laughs> That's got to be one of my favourites. It came out with a sweet when it came out. And I did my first card class using it. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Right, I think I'll do a little bow with that. Do a little bow. Oops. Flip that around then. Just fiddle with your bows till you get it right. I fiddle with them for a while. Or you can use your bow maker, I haven't used it yet. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I might have to do my bow again because I don't want to waste all that ribbon. <laughs> Just try another one. Did I do it again? Oh, and I'll twist it again. Twist it. Twist. This is quite easy to tie though, this ribbon. It's quite firm. It's just beautiful. So gorgeous. does crease a bit if you're pressing it hard but it seems to come out easily enough I'll just go back and forward and back and forward until I get it the way I want it look, we're almost there look oh it's still a bit long never mind that'll do I'm not going to do it again <laughs> so I'm going to put that somewhere Just chop that piece off. I love having a long piece. I'll, I will chop a bit of that off in a minute. Okie dokie. Let's stick this down. So I'm not tying the ribbon around this. So it's all good. Now I'm just going to put a bit of extra glue on this one. Because of the embossing, I'm putting a little bit more than I normally do. Of course, you could use the stick with the tear and tape, like earlier. Let's put a bit in the middle too. I want it to stick. So pretty, isn't it? Love it. You could use this to make a turtle too, you know, Di. <laughs> To get a turtle i haven't got the turtle stamps either <laughs> the turtle punch this is a turtle punch you could use it in the turtle punch let me see if the turtles are still around hang on turtle turtle punch turtle friends there you go they're still there um they're retiring soon the punch is still 31 dollars though the Turtle Friends stamp set is down to $22 instead of $28. And the whole bundle is $53. So there you go. There is a Turtle Punch. And you could use this with the Turtle Punch. That's gorgeous. I'm just having a thought. I'm just wondering whether to scallop the end of that. Or whether it'll clash with the 
Let me have a look. What what set was that in? <laughs> it was in something I saw tonight. Too many things going on. Not the daffodils. I think it might be in the new one I put out. Oh, it is. Look at that. This was the new one I bought. So this was the scalloped dies, contours dies, and I bought the bundle because it's a bundle still for ten percent off with stamps. It will be in the new catalogue, but not as a bundle. But if you like this set, the stamps look like this. It's eighty-eight dollars for the bundle, but that's ten percent off it if you're buying them separately. You still get it cheaper. Right, let's just have a quick look at what we're doing over here. I'm just changing it up all the time, thinking, what will I do? No, I like the ribbon going that way. I'm just thinking whether to scallop the edge of that with this one. What will that look like? Scallop or not to scallop? That is the question. <laughs> oh, crocodile, yes, yes. Okay, will we scallop? Scallop, yes, scallop, no. Just the top and the bottom. Mm, not sure. It's a hard one, isn't it? It's hard making all these decisions sometimes. The other thing we could do. Oh. No, that one's not big enough. Can we use these yet? Yes, Stephanie said yes. Just looking to see this one. Now it's too big. We go with the scallop. If we don't like it, we can always change it back, but you know, I think I'll like it. <laughs> I'm thinking I'll like it. So before we stick all that together, uh, get through the mini. Let's have a look. Yes! That'll fit through the mini. Yes, scallop. Smaller ones. Uh oh. I don't have a smaller one. Although I guess. Um, could go that one and just cut it on one edge but I'll have to do that in the big machine is that what you're thinking what do you think Steph do you like the big or the little I guess the little would match this better smaller ones too? Who else is still here? Anybody else still here? You like the little one? Okay. Alrighty. Let's do that and put that one back. I just really like the idea of a scallop. So this one will have a little dotted line so that actually might add a little bit of extra something. Yeah, I'll make sure I'm doing this the right way. That way. So because we're on the bigger machine, we can do part of it. I'm going to put that through on the edge of there. Can you see that? So I'm putting that on the edge. So the I'm trying to match up the ends so that it's in the little. Oh, that worked out well, didn't it? It's in the little valleys. Okay. 
Now, to do this, we might be best to do a sticky. Just to hold this in place. I'm putting, I probably can't see that, hang on. I'm putting a sticky on it to hold it in place. Move those Easter eggs out of the way. <laughs> so I've got it lined up. See, lucky, lucky, because I just bumped it. So you line it up across there. And when you put your plate on the top, we are not going to cover this side of it. All right. So I'm going to pull that bit out. That bit will go through first. And we only cover, you'll see it as it goes through. Only cover it to here. Because we only want to cut that piece there off. We could even go less than that, but I'm just going to roll it till it goes. It's going to be a bit hard because it's going through the straight there, clunk. And now I'm going to go back because I only want to cut that edge off. Right. That's what it looks like. And then we're going to do the other side. You end up with this piece too if you want to keep that for something, but I probably won't. And then we do the same thing with the other side. Line it up again. Put my sticky down to hold it in place. And then put that through there. I mean, look, you wouldn't have to do it like this here, but it's a good way to do it because if you forget, <laughs> you, don't want to, you don't want to cut the whole thing. All right, I can keep going now because that's just going to pop out. All right. Ta -da, ta -da. There we go. And again, you've got an extra piece. So if you wanted to make a few cards that are a bit different, Use a bigger piece of card and have an, an extra piece there and you can use that on something. Yes, yes, die. This one, I mean, of course you can do the whole lot if you want a whole square, but rectangle. You can even do the whole lot if you wanted to make it, if you want to get really clever. I'm not going to do that tonight. <laughs> You'd put it on the, the corner and line up your plates so you don't cover the other corners. You just do it from there to there, if you're with me. And then do the other one. See, this one's narrower now, see? Because we've done it that way. But you could do a bit of... You could work it out so that... The main thing is that your plate is not covering the part you don't want to cut. Make sure your plates only cover the bits you want to cut. Oh yeah, I do like that. Oh, look at that. That's much nicer, isn't it? Look at that. And then we'll put that bit down there. That bit down there. And a ribbon. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, how simple was that? See, it wasn't too hard. Nice easy card. We'll put this piece together first. We're not doing... Oh, gosh, look at the time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops, the daisies. Get carried away. Okay. I've got my flowers up there. Just line them up on the edge. Oops. So because we got the tombo, we can slide it around a little bit. Oops, I'm <laughs> sliding it around a lot. <laughs> Hang on a minute. That's not quite right on this side. I've squashed it too hard. A bit of glue on my fingers, just rub them together and it'll come off. We'll have a baby wipe handy, but I haven't. It's getting a bit low. Now, 
which way do I want that so I've cut that I'm not sure whether I want the solid bit at the bottom yeah I do okay and then I'm going to do this one so it's a, roughly about the same I'm just looking at it you can, you can look at it and measure it on the grid paper if you want to it's about a square just shy of a square I want that on an angle. I like things on angles. I'll pop that up. We'll pop it up. And what right in the middle? What did I say about being quick? <laughs> this is me being quick. No, it's not true. I did make a card in 15 minutes one day. It's possible. I'm going to go a bit crooked because I like crooked. And I'm going to stick that there with a few dot. just have to stick it on so again you could pop it up if you want to but I think I'll keep it flat if you're going to post it you don't want it to be too high so I'm not putting glue where the dots are but I will put a bit across the middle because we're gluing onto this embossed thing and then just plonk it where you want it I'm not going to be exactly in the middle I don't know, I'm just looking at it and going, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, I like it there. I like it there. Oh, I like that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Ooh. And then just trim. I'm getting a new pair of snips for my ribbon. <laughs> They're in the box on the way. Oh, you made two already, Di. Oh, I can't wait to see them. Right, just trim this one a little bit more. I don't mind my ribbon hanging off the edge though. I quite like it. Put that up there. Get rid of all the paper up here. The chocolate. <laughs> get rid of that paper. I've got a big, big flower there, but I don't think it's really suitable for this. So let's put that over there. Oh, that's good. I got to use my new dice. Where's my bag? Here's my bag. Shall we put some chocolate under it? There we go. <laughs> Let's put some Easter eggs around. There we go. Lots of little Easter eggs. And I can take a photo when I'm finished. It's so pretty, isn't it? I love it. Oh, do we need bling on it? I didn't bling it. Hang on. Hang on, the bling box is right here. What bling will we have? What colour bling do we do we need some of this bling? Some of the what about a bit of the soft succulent one? What do you think? Where's my thing? Pink? Pink? But soft succulent might be too bland. That's the perp. That's the freesia one. This is the soft succulent. That's the darker one. I don't know whether we need the dark one or the pink. 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 Is the pink too bright? 
And the yellow's not, I can't decide. <laughs> uh, which one looks good on the screen? Let me see. It's, I love this bling, so gorgeous. It's terrible when you get attached to bling, isn't it? Now, what have I done to my screen? Hang on, something's wrong with my mat. I better move that so I'm in picture. <laughs> I just realised, sorry. Just realised I bumped that. Come back down again. That pink is bright. It is bright. It's very bright. I think it's too bright. Right, that's better. Um, I'm actually wondering whether the yellow one looks nicer to go with the... I'm liking the yellow one with it or the dark green because it's quite rich and lovely like the ribbon. So it depends whether you want our bling to be rich and dominant or subtle in the background. Yeah, I quite like the yellow one or the yellow, whatever colour that one is. What colour is the pale? Is it pale papaya? Must be. Mmm. Well, maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Let's try one of these. And one of these. See how bright that is? Look at how bright that is. That's not. I think I'll use both. Hey. Why not? Do they have three sizes or two? I think there's only two sizes. I'm going to put another one somewhere. I to put another one somewhere. Well, we could just put them on there, couldn't we? Yellow, is there is yellow on it? Yes, thank you, Stephanie. I'm going both. How's that? Are you happy with that? That looks all right, doesn't it? I don't think we need too much bling. Just a little. But we need it bling. Definitely need the bling. Unless I put another bit somewhere else, like further out on the card. But I don't want to take away from the beautiful edges. It's tricky, isn't it, getting it the bling in the right proportion? Alrighty, that better do. We better get to bed. Huh? I just get carried away. I love it. <laughs> It's really good fun. Thank you for staying with me. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for watching the replay. I hope you get as much enjoyment out of it as I do. And I hope you get lots of Easter eggs. <laughs> so I've got another live next week. I think I'll be live. I've got family coming down, so that's exciting. So I'm sort of playing it by you. We'll see what happens. But there's some Easter goodies for us tonight. Alrighty, I'll see you next time. Ciao!